Hello students, have a lovely day to all of you. Welcome to EC Learning Channel. In this presentation, we are going to study about Introduction to Sets, a chapter from Class 7 Max textbook. Let us start. In this module, we will discuss about what is meant by sets and a representation of sets. One by one, we will discuss. Let's have a look at these pictures. First is a bunch of flowers, a troop of dancers, a group of soldiers and a box of pencils. One thing that can be seen Common in all these pictures is everything is in the form of groups or sets. Yes, that's our today's topic, sets. First, let us discuss what is meant by a set. A collection of well-defined and distinct objects is known as sets. The members of the set are called elements. Let us discuss with an example. Set of numbers from 1 to 5 can be considered as a set? Yes, we can consider it as a set because numbers from 1 to 5, it is well defined from 1 to 5 and distinct, different from other numbers. So, we can consider it as a set. Next, let us see how to represent a set. First step is name the set using any letter from English alphabet. Any capital letter from English alphabet. Let us say capital A is equal to in this case 1 to 5. From 1 to 5, all the numbers with the commas we have written and inside the curly bracket. It is a simple representation of a set. And the members of the sets are called elements and it is well defined and distinct. And 1 is an element of set A. This symbol is used to represent belongs to or element of. One belongs to set A or one is an element of set A. And a two is also an element of set A. But six is not an element of set A. That means this symbol is for not an element of. Six is not an element of this set. This is how we can represent a set. Next example, all rich people in parody. Can we consider it as a set? No. What is the reason? The word rich people is not so well defined and distinct. A rich man can be poor for you. And a pure man can be rich for me. So, individual view is different for this. That means it is not well defined. So, it is not considered as a set. Next example, set of all letters in the word mathematics. Can we consider this as a set? Yes. It is well defined. All letters in the word mathematics. And a distinct also. And let us represent the set. X. Name the set. X. Using capital letter of English alphabet. Equal to inside curly bracket. All the 
letters of the word i have written m a t h e m a t i c s is this the correct way to represent no what is the reason because in this some letters are repeated it is not allowed while writing a set elements of a set cannot be repeated so how we can write this set correct x is equal to m a t h e t i c s that repeated elements we omitted and written like this and this is a correct way to represent and in the next example all difficult problems of your max textbook can we consider this as a set no what is the reason difficult problems according to individual difficulty of a problem can vary one problem can be difficult for me but it can be easy for you so this also cannot be considered as a set hope the portion is clear next is representation of a set there are three methods to represent a set description method or descriptive method roster method or tabular method rule method or set set builder method set builder method or set builder form let us discuss one by one description method we write a well defined description of elements of a set inside a curly bracket let us discuss with an example 2 4 6 these numbers we are going to represent using description method first step is name the set a is equal to inside curly bracket description of these numbers 2 4 6 8 means even numbers less than 10 inside curly bracket a well defined description is written even numbers and less than 10 that is well defined description this is the representation of set using description method next example a e i o u how we will represent this b is equal to inside curly bracket well defined description for this letters that is all vowels of english alphabet hope it is clear next method is roster method or tabular method or listing method let us see all the elements of the set are actually listed one after another and separated by commas and the list is then enclosed within curly bracket that means in all the methods curly bracket is a must yes let us discuss with an example the set of prime numbers less than 5 15 less than 15 let us see how to represent it name of the set set x is equal to inside curly bracket all the members are separated with the commas 2 3 5 7 11 and 30 over this is the representation of set using tabular method or roster method second example set of multiples of 2 less than 100 2 less than 100 means it is a large number of data how to represent this large number of data it is very difficult to write every number so we will write it as set b is equal to inside curly bracket first two elements that is multiples of 2 2 4 6 and then three dots three dots that means the number sir continuing and then the last less than 100 it is clearly written so last number is 
last multiple of 2 less than 100 is 98. This is the shortest way to represent a set using tabular method. Third example, set of all odd numbers. In this case, ending is not given. So, what we will do? Name the set, capital letter C. Set C is equal to inside curly bracket, all odd numbers. First few numbers, elements we will write 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and after that 3 dots. That means the numbers are continuing. And that means numbers are included in this method, tabular method. That's all about roster method or tabular method. Next is rule method or set builder method. In this method, we write a variable, say x, representing any number, x. X is representing any number of the set. And put the vertical slash or colon. Colon. And it will read as such that. X such that X. And then we will write the property of that element. X has the property of P. This is a general representation of rule method or set builder method. Let us discuss with an example. This Slash or colon stands for the word such that. Example, the set A of natural numbers less than 20. Set is A is equal to X such that X. That means X is an element of the set N. That also written. X is an element of set N. Natural numbers. And then the property. Property is what? It is less than 20. X is less than 20. X such that X is an element of natural number set N. Then comma the property is X is less than 20. That means inside this set all the natural numbers less than 20 is included. Next example A is equal to A E I O U. How to write this? A is equal to X such that X. And the property of that set is, is a vowel of English alphabet. Is a vowel of English alphabet is a property. In this example, in this example property is X is less than 20. And it is a member of natural number. Element of natural numbers. This is a way to represent a set Using rule method or set builder method. It is called a rule method because some rules are there to write. We, we, we must have to use the slash or colon while representing a set using rule method. And a set builder method means that we are building a method to represent a set in a short form. That's why set builder method. That's why the name. Hope it is clear. The representation of a sets using three methods and a how we can identify a well-defined set. Stay connected. I will be uploading more videos. Thank you.